BizWorld, a national mobile application and all-in-one platform to access many different digital services will be developed soon. Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, MCMC, in a statement said the government through the National Council of Digital Economy and Fourth Industrial Revolution on April 22nd had approved in principle with a proposal to implement the platform. The platform, which allows users to experience a seamless digital experience, will be a one-stop center to manage the needs of the users. This will be carried out through an application that offers ease of use, versatility, dynamic features and a variety of digital services. Activities such as accessing government uh, digital services, selected private services, bill payment and more can be carried out without having to commute to the location. Top Glove Corporation's net profit jumped 346% to 7.87 billion ringgit in the financial year ended August 31, 2021, from 1.75 billion ringgit in the same period last year. Revenue for the year also surged by 127% to 16.4 billion ringgit. The performance was due to strong glove demand, coupled with elevated average selling prices driven by the ongoing pandemic. However, in the, in the fourth quarter, Top Glove's net profit declined to 607.95 million ringgit against 1.18 billion ringgit year on year, while revenue eased to 2.12 billion ringgit. Its fourth quarter performance was softer on the back of normalizing demand following mass vaccine rollouts on a global scale. This was further affected by the punitive actions by the US Customs and Border Protection, impacting sales volume and profit. A stellar performance of a 223% increase in FDI in the first half of 2021, auguring well for Malaysia's path to vibrant and sustainable economic recovery. A stable and conducive economic climate and business ecosystem. Money Matters speaks with the Malaysian International Chamber of Commerce and Industry with me, Muhammad Ahmad Hamdan, this Saturday at 5pm, only on TV3. Moving on, the aviation industry's outlook is looking brighter following the reopening of Langkawi to vaccinated travellers. According to CGS CIMB Securities, Malaysia Airports Holdings, MAHB, set to be the straightforward beneficiary of the domestic travel bubble. It said the positive outlook was driven by the increased PAX traffic and low airfares coupled with the ongoing hotel promotions in Langkawi. It added AirAsia Group will also benefit, although in the initial phase it may have to contend with strong competition, low fares, uneven loads of outbound and inbound flights, and the presence of passengers using their credits from previously cancelled flights. Now, China has applied to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP, as the world's second biggest economy looks to bolster its clout in trade. Its Commerce Minister Wang Wentao submitted the application in a letter to New Zealand's Trade Minister Damien O'Connor. The CPTPP was signed by 11 countries, including Malaysia, Australia, Canada, Chile, Japan and New Zealand in 2018. Before that, it was known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP, and seen as an important economic counterweight to China's regional influence. Japan, the CPTPP's chair this year, said it will consult with member countries to respond to China's requests, but stop short of signalling a timeline for doing so. That's all for Bizworld today. I'm Muhammad Ahmad Hamdan. Do stay safe and keep tuning in to TV Digger.